Painting is much more than brush strokes and blending to one Bay Area artist. Each canvas is a divine opportunity to illustrate her faith. Valrico artist Susan Jenkins is this week's Faith in Action. This is Susan Jenkins' sanctuary. I sing a lot while I'm painting and I go to another place. And these are her tools. And I truly have never felt on a, the level that I do as I do when I'm painting. But before the longtime artist ever makes a brush stroke, I begin in prayer and I begin um, with a, a message or something I want to get across. This time, the answers come in bold shades of purple and pink. I really feel that the Lord guides me in what I'm to paint. Three years ago, her faith led her to take on a project. And they all have hidden images in them. Five large-scale paintings, her donation to a kid's place, a nearby nonprofit for displaced children. So I started the project, and two paintings into it, I found out I had cancer. The diagnosis put everyday life on pause. You find about having cancer, even when you have faith, you're not really sure of how the Lord's going to let this play out, you know? So I tried to be open to either possibility. But her painting persevered. And part of the healing was painting. And so a lot of times when I felt the energy, I would paint. Those pastels must have some healing power because one year later, Susan was cured. Soon after that, all five paintings were finished. Finishing the paintings was like a... Um, a victory <laughs> you know and so I was able to just go all right Lord and it, it encouraged me to even do more today her blessing comes in the form of a book each day she'd rule with tender grace upon the mountainside imagining the mountain king and she would be his bride it's called the mountain queen I wrote an allegory a poem based on the life of my great-grandmother a children's book with a message lost and many others it's a happily ever after beyond what most books are, beyond the prince and the castle. It's a happily ever after that's eternal. It's Susan's labor of love, each word and illustration crafted with care. But my hope is that it will touch some lives and uh, cause people to be curious about God and his word. In the meantime, she'll always know where to find her peace, at her easel with a hue in hand. Such a beautiful woman inside and out. And Susan's book is available on Amazon and also at Southern Hospitality in Plant City. For more information on her work, you can visit our website, fox13news.com.